Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fire Pro Wrestling World. This is MWF Miracle on the road to Christmas. We're just coming off of Endgame, and what a hell of a pay-per-view we just had. Uh, we have a new ProtoNet champion, and we will hear from him tonight. And <coughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start things off with an eight-man tag team match, four against four. And it's the tag team champions of Gil and Daryl teaming up with the Morse Bros, taking on Tactics and Scotland Yard. Let's get things started right here and right now. All right, you see all eight competitors there getting ready. Oh, you don't see them getting ready, but they are getting ready for this contest. And here we go. <coughs> With this eight man tag team match, Gil will start things off here against Maximus. Maximus is from Philadelphia. Him and Nate Silva, collectively known. Yeah, him and Nate Silva are collectively known. As tactics, but they were a part of when they were when they were around. They were a part of a team called the Red Army. The Dirty Demon and Lola have since been fired, and will never come back. And that was back in 2015. Yes, 2015. No, it would have been, yeah, yeah, 2015. There. Here we go. Nate Silva is in now against Gil. Nice low drop kick by Nate Silva. There you see Colton Morse on the corner of your screen. And there you see Finley Alexander. This is a good match uh, so far. Nothing horribly special, but it's felt pretty good. Alright, and there we go. And nice, uh, nice suplex there. Oh, no, uh, throws him into the barricade. He comes back with an elbow to the face. So far, no tags have been made on. Sanctuary and <coughs> Morse Bros side. So Gil is the only one in so far. One tag has been made on the Tactics Scotland Yard side. Looks like a second one might be made now. Yes. <coughs> Here comes Finn Belstead. Oh, it looks like Gil's gonna go out and ahead and make a tag here. And here comes the other half of the tag team champions, Daryl. Gil and Daryl 
Best friends who run a church together. Oh, slips off the bottom rope there. And, oh, it's on the back. Uh, he landed on a skull there. Will he be okay? Yeah, it looks like it. Nope. Hold on. Will it throw him off? Or will, or will he be okay? Alright, and there's a rake to the eyes. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, as I was saying on last night's WTF Wednesday, I have decided I'm going to apply for monetization. Uh, it will be after Christmas. Because I don't want to do it before, because that wouldn't be fair to you guys. So it'll be after Christmas that I apply for monetization. <coughs> Then of course, once uh, I get a thousand subscribers, I will be applying for sponsorship as well. If we can make mo enough money for the channel, I'm gonna make maybe ten shows a week instead of five. Maybe start a Patreon. I don't know yet. We'll see how the monetization goes first. Here we are. No, nope. never mind. And oh, clothesline by Finn Belstead. One, no, it kicks out. Like I said before, other than at the end of the episode, I am going to... Oh, here comes Colton Morse. Anyway, except, the end of the epi except for the end of the episode, I will be plugging my social media twice per episode only. Just because I don't want it to get too annoying. Then you won't go to it if it's too annoying, right? So, yeah. Whether you go to it now or not, certainly wouldn't go if it was too annoying. <laughs> but yeah, one, no, kick out. The referee James Shea here. Uh, Mike Maxwell is spending time with his family for Christmas, so he will be out. Till next week, so he's taking the week off. <coughs> James Shea will be taking over the refereeing duties on both MWF and KPW this week because his family is local. There's my social media, uh, there's my Twitter at A13ENT. Definitely go ahead and follow me on that. And I will be starting a Discord server. <coughs> Coming soon. And I will be giving away my Discord uh, invite code. And I will be receiving sometime soon. So once I have it all organized, you know. <coughs> All right, here we go. All right, and tag out to Finley, or sorry, to Finn Belstead. He is in against Colton Morse. 
Nice kicks there. So everybody's been in in this match. There's James looking things over here. <coughs> and oh, nice leg drop to the back of Finn Belstead, and he tags out to Maximus, the biggest guy in this match on both teams, really. All right, and here we go. Oh, nice backdrop there by Finn Belstead. Here comes Tony Morse. Yeah, it is Colton's twin brother. They are identical twins, however. One decided to grow out his hair and the other one did not. One. No. <coughs> Kick out. What are we going to see here? Nice snap man there by Tony Marsh. And an arm bar. <coughs> and an arm submission, anyways. Of course, James Shea is in this because both referees, Aaron James and Mike Maxwell, or also an R. Auburn Scott, all spending time with their families for Christmas. And then Gil and Daryl are going to go back to their families for Christmas as well after this match. <coughs> so they will be leaving the arena early. And they're hoping to do it with a win. And also they will be also spending it with their congregation as well. Their families and their congregation. And here we go. Oh, elbow drop. <coughs> there you see my social media there. I'm not plugging it, I'm just pointing it out. That's all. Nice miracle logo. I absolutely enjoy that font for, the, for this purpose, anyways. What do you guys think of the Miracle and Kick-Ass logos? So let me know in the comments below. Do you think they're good? Do you think they need a change? Let me know. I'd like your creative feedback here. Because I did create those. And, oh, lock up. And, it's like a suplex? No. Countered into a suplex of his own, and Maximus is out of the ring. Referee decides not to count him out. Okay, so that'll be interesting. Oh, wait, I forgot I turned count outs off, I guess. That's okay. <coughs> This is where Matthew was doing earlier. If I just forgot to put him back on, that's okay. One, two, no kick out. Here we go. 
Finley Alexander is in the ring against Daryl here. Nice jawbreaker by Daryl. One. Two. No. Finley Alexander kicks out. And this match also could determine a number one contender for the tag team championship in just a few weeks. Just four weeks here on MWF Miracle. Turn away. Actually. Since oh, there we go. There's a nice elbow drop. Since the MWF tag team title was not decided on pay per view this month, then next month it will be decided on pay per view. So, winner, or sorry, the winner of this could. Potentially face Gil and Daryl for the tag team title at Cold War. Fifteen minutes gone in this one. And Gil is in the ring now. <coughs> and here comes Finn Belstead. This is uh, reminiscent of their match from this past, uh, or from last week on, on uh, MWF. Miracle. This was a great match. I would definitely suggest go back and watch it. It was a good match. It was Scotland Yard against Sanctuary for the tag team gold. Oh, there's a roll up. One. Two. No, not even a two. Okay, just a one count there. Here comes. Nate Silva. Now Maximus and Silva are making their YouTube debuts here tonight. And oh, punch to the face. Here's a strike exchange if we saw ever seen one before. Which of course we have. That's beside the point. Gill is down. Maximus, or sorry, Silva's down. What are we going to see here? And, oh, backbreaker. And there's a victory roll. One. No, kick out. There you see the Morse Bros and Daryl looking on as Gil gets monkey flipped. And Boston Crab. This is of course. It's an eight man tag. There is Colton Morse here. Uh, stay tuned. Yeah, tomorrow we will have KPW Kick Ass. Saturday, we will have Armageddon. Monday will be no, uh, Raw is Christmas. And then, of course, we have SmackDown and WTF Wednesday. And on WTF Wednesday, we'll continue the tag team tournament. And here we go. One, two, no, kicked out. 
Colton Morse definitely kicks out of that one. Here's a code breaker. We may see a knockout. And we do. Nate Silva is knocked out, which means here are your winners. Sanctuary and the Morse Bros. <coughs> All right, and we're going to the to the uh, winner's circle here. There you see a knocker, 18 minutes 43 seconds. Colton Morse knocks out Nate Silva with a code breaker. All right, here we go with our second match. It is. The new ProtoNet champion, Chuck Tyler, going one on one <coughs> with Luca Ritchie. Let's get things started. All right. And of course, Luca Ritchie, uh, before Akira won the, the title. From Elijah Ashburn, he was actually TV champion, or he was actually uh, ProtoNet champion before Elijah Ashburn. <coughs> so he had his rematch and everything, and he lost. And to the point where the GM put a stipulation on it where as long as Elijah was champion, he could not go for the title. But now Elijah's not champion anymore. So he is more than welcome to go for the title. As long as he qualifies, of course. Let's see what he can do right here tonight against our current champion, Chuck Tyler. Alright, uh, certainly is taking a bit to load. And here we go. Starting this match. And they lock, uh, oh, nope, Chuck Tyler gets knocked down right away. <coughs> So here we are seeing the new champ in action against one of the old champs. And the man he beat for the title is at ringside. We have Akira on the outside. You won't see him right now. Oh, yes you will actually. There he is. Alright, nice body slam there by Chuck Tyler. And there's a test of strength, which Riley Bateman won. Or no, sorry, Luca Ritchie won. <coughs> and... Oh, elbow to the face. <laughs> Here we go. And there's an Irish whip. No. Richie stops himself in his tracks. <laughs> nice takedown there by Chuck Tyler. And Tyler definitely going to work here. On Luca Richie. Luca is a former ProtoNet champion. 
I'm sure he'll be also looking to get into, into the title picture as well. So he can be a two-time champion. Akira won the title back in August and then lost it in December. That was a nice four-month title reign for the guy. And here we are. And there you see Akira looking on in this one. And who oh, whips him into the corner? What's he gonna do? No, rake of the eyes. Throws off Chuck Tyler. And no, Chuck Tyler counters. We see James Shea looking on. He will referee tonight and tomorrow because the current referees are spending time with their families for Christmas. And of course, anyone who's watching, definitely have a Merry Christmas yourselves. And stay tuned. I'm also doing Christmas Raw. We'll be including a celebrity entrant into the Royal Rumble match. We'll be making his appearance at the Christmas Raw. Nice takedown there by, by Chuck Tyler. <coughs> and suplex. Nice arm by there. Champ has it locked in. But uh, Richie does not tap. And Luca Richie knocks him down. But does not knock him out. Speaking of knockouts. We saw Nate Silva in the last match. He knocked out cold. He has not woken up yet. But the trainer is saying that he probably will by the end of this show. And if he does not, he will be taken to a medical facility for future or sorry for further examination. <coughs> and he may be in a coma. So they're hoping that is not the case, but he is still out cold, ladies and gentlemen. Body slams him out of the ring. Oh, there's four under the face. And, an, and a fist drop. Jerry the King Waller would be proud, of course, <coughs> with that fist drop. And here we go with a submission hold. Ooh. Sort of a body scissors and holding the legs. And. Luca Ritchie uh, kicks out. Of course, Luca Ritchie has never faced Chuck Tyler. So, this is their first time facing each other. Not just on pay per view, but period. Or not just on YouTube, I meant, but period. Nice ar <coughs> arm drag there. Here we go. Oh, right to the eyes. And 
There's a suplex. A delayed suplex here. There it is. Alright, and Chuck Tully's got a weapon. Pulls out Barbie from under the ring. And he hits. He hits Richie with it. Alright, and here we go. It is a uh, stalling, stalling suplex. And here we go. And here we go. Northern Lights into an arm bar. Will he tap out? Will he tap out here, ladies and gentlemen? Is Luke Ritchie thinking of quitting? No. Here we go. What are we going to do here? Oh, he's got a Boston Crab locked in. I haven't been too, too active today. And nice on by there. But Chuck Tyler, there wasn't really a lot of activity between then and now. Nice Russian leg sweep there by Gill. And Courtney, or not Gill, but yeah, Alexander. No, fuck. Why do I keep saying the wrong thing? Err. And there's a submission hold. Sorry for the delays in commentary, ladies and gentlemen. Will he tap out? No. Does not tap out. But here it comes. Two. And her, no kicks out. Here we go. One, two, three, three. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, the TV champion, Chuck Tyler. Do apologize again for the lack of commentary in the last couple of minutes or so. But yeah, uh, 
Yeah, here we go. Winner. Right into the winner circle. Alright, here we go with our third match of the evening. It is Dakota Clark teaming with Lola Zubin taking on Angel Costal and Tasha James. Now these four have uh, pretty much been in the women's scene in the last little while. <coughs> and this match could be determined to find a new number one contender. So we will see. And that's why uh, Sister Proceed will be at ringside. Just because she's scouting future opponents. And this match is underway. <coughs> Alright, so we have Lilith Zubin starting things off with Angel Kazdal. She actually, er, Angel Kazdal actually uh, went for the women's title, or for the 3DW Miracle Championship uh, on our first show, which was Heat Blast, but came up short. Alright, and oh, nice snapmare takeover by uh, Lilith Zubin there. Lilith Zubin is uh, roughly seven feet tall, with the as the largest woman in in uh, Rotoverse history, or actually possibly even the largest woman in wrestling history, uh, height wise, anyways. <coughs> nice, uh, so, uh, nice uh, tackle there, but a little zoom in. And we have referee James Shea. Normally for this match, we would have Auburn Scott, but she is spending time with her family for Christmas, and she will be back next week on Miracle. Of course, uh, all these people will be spending their time, or spending Christmas with their families as well. Oh, big boot. I realized I gotta put bottoms on those boots. But we can always pretend they're there until, until I do. Here we go. One. No, kick out. <coughs> Here we go with the tag. Couple of kicks. And Zubin just standing there. Nope. Tries the discus clothesline, but does not get any of it because Tasha James moved out of the way. And there we see Dakota Clark on the outside as well, representing Italy in this match. This match actually has a bit of international flavor, at least when it comes to the opposing team is Germany and Italy. Because Zubin is from Germany. And body slam. <coughs> and there's a tag to Dakota Clark. Dakota actually got her fame when she turned her back on her former teammates, which have since retired uh, War Machine and Johnny Ripperino. Back in uh, 
I want to say 2006. Yeah, she's been with the company for a while. She's been she's been here since 2004. <coughs> So yeah, but yeah, she got her fame by by turning her uh, by betraying her partners. And here we go with a uh, roll up. No, does not get any of it. <coughs> I'd say the setup for that roll up was the thing that took the most. Uh, time and probably ended up costing her in the end. Alright, and here we go with the tie up. And test of strength does not work. Oh we see another one here and it's in favor of Dakota. Alright, Dakota ends up coming out on top on that test of strength. And, oh, clubs are down. Right, and James Shea looking on in this match. Nice, uh, nice move there. Nice arm drag. Nope, nope, nothing new in there. <coughs> there we see Angel Cosdall looking on. Sister Pristine looking on. She is in the corner of uh, Tasha James and... Angel Cuz though. She's not really rooting for anyone, she's just out here to scout. <laughs> and here's a roll up. And one. No, kick out. And of course is my Twitter. At a one three e n t. Go ahead and follow me on that. <coughs> and that is the last time I will advertise it until the end of the show. Here we are. It is. Oh! Kicks to the face. Three kicks to the face. Let's zoom in down. Or will it put her out? <coughs> There's a California dream. <coughs> And Subin hailing from Frankfurt, Germany. Dakota, uh, Dakota from Sicily. And we have oh, here it's tie up, and a huge, huge slam there. We have Tasha James, who chose not to reveal her hometown until she's in her hometown. And then we have Angel Cosdell looking from the City of Angels. <coughs> Let's 
I'm just kidding. Tasha James is from Seattle, Washington. <coughs> Alright, here we go. Roll up. One. No, kick out. Tries a spin kick, but does not get any of it. And, oh. Big boot there. And uh, Lilith Zubin tries going up the top rope, but does not get... Uh, but falls right down, slips on it. Clearly, she is too big to go up there, apparently. <coughs> or at least to go up there by the front. One. Two. No, kick out. There's a nice backbreaker there by Zubin. Not sure what Zubin's uh, MO before, but by going out of the ring was for, but whatever. There's a there's a tag to Angel Kazdal. <coughs> and what are we gonna see? Oh, the elevator. There's a pin. One, two, no. Zubin kicks out with a Thorita. There's a nice, uh, there's a nice hurricane runner there by Angel Cosball. Oh. Of course, Dakota Clark wearing the Italian flag on her shirt. And here she comes off the tag. So we got green, we got white, and we got red. Which are the colors of Italy? She says a lot of her MOOC set is based on her home country. Oh, tries a cutter, but does not get any of it. <coughs> and, oh, Enziguri. And here's a California dream. Of course, you know the city of angels is Anaheim, California. And if you didn't, you know now. <laughs> That's how I see it. And oh, kick to the chest. Oh, she's just pumping up for something. What's she pumping up for? Whoops, her into the ropes. And what are we gonna see? No, counters into a suplex there. <coughs> Both women were down for a second. Now they're both back up, and here we are. It is the Angel Wings. There's a jackknife cover with a twist. One, two, three, no. She kicks out. Oh, <coughs> That was her finishing move, the Angel Wings, and there's a Elevator. And, what are we gonna see here? Oh, body scissors! There's a submission hold here. Really complicated looking one, but. I don't think it's really that complicated at all, but yeah. I did say complicated looking, and looks can be deceiving. And here we go. 
with another elevator. Of course, I call it that because of uh, Matt Morgan. One, two, three, ladies and gentlemen, your winners. Angel Kazdal and Tasha James have won this match. <coughs> Alright, and next week we will learn who will face. Yeah, next week we will learn who will face Sister Christine. For the 3DW Miracle Championship. <coughs> Alright, there we go. That is a triangle jump body attack, aka a crossbody. Alright. That was a good match. I like that. Alright, and then we're going to set up for our main event here. Alright, main event time. It is. James Rook the third teaming up with the prophet Noah Colton taking on Ryder Prendeville and a special guest here is Santa Claus and no not the Crimson Killer but the Santa Claus that replaced him here we go and the world champ starting off against a former uh, the former world champ the one who, who he beat for the title Noah Colton. There you see Santa. In all of his glory. And there you see James Rook the third looking on as well. <coughs> Alright, and picks him up. Oh, but gets countered with a suplex. Right, and look at that beautiful ring. Candace, or ring apron there. That is awesome. Alright, here we go. Cut wrench suplex. And it has been announced, ladies and gentlemen, that Brayden Day, who is not in this match, will get his shot, his first ever shot at the championship in five weeks. Or, sorry, yeah, in just under five weeks at... Cold War. <coughs> On January 20th. Here we are. It is not going to happen. There we go. No. What's it doing right there? And, and there is well, pretty much the matchup that we had at Endgame. It was the Battle of England. Uh, Ryder Prendeville and James Rook the third. James Rook has the op opportunity to avenge his loss. Whether he will or not that, that remains to be the question. Er, sorry, that remains as a question until the end of this match, of course. <coughs> I 
Oh, nice, a nice take over there, Bay. My rider. There's Breaking Day will be in action next week. And he will and he will set out to prove why he was chosen as number one contender. All right, here we go. One. Two. Wow. That was a lot of lag there. And there is a tag. Tag out to uh, Noah Colton. This match is just the way it started here. These two are actually the ones who started this match. As far as uh, okay, um, and Santa Claus has not made an appearance so far in this match, so it's all it's been a two-on-one handicap since the get no, since the start. <coughs> of course, you know, trying to put a Christmas twist on this match. Just like tomorrow, we will see Crimson Killer in action, which is the evil Santa. He will try and earn a title shot for him and Super Tiny. Nice arm drag there. There's okay. Here we go. Santa Claus is getting his first taste in this match. <coughs> nice elbow there by the Prophet. His arm drag to Santa. There's probably wasn't the wisest idea to put Santa in the main event, but that's all right. It's the only place where he fit, really. This one because I had other things going on with the other feuds. This one isn't really continuing a feud, but it is making an announcement of next week's match. There's an STF there by Santa. Maybe a Santa toy. I don't know. Santa's toy farm. There we go. All right, and one, two, no. Colton kicks out, and pile driver. There's a cross face trying to make Santa tap out <coughs> right in front of the Twitter. Uh, handle. 
It's not an advertisement. That's cheap. That is a cheap plug. And here we go. Oh, uh, go to Santa. I mean, go to sleep by Santa. <coughs> And spiral bomb. Here comes Ryder Prendeville off the rope with a splash. One, two, three, no. Oh, here we go. He's, he's got him. Uh oh, football tackle with Santa's help. I think Santa wants him on the naughty list. <coughs> will the prophet get coal in his stocking? How many time will tell? Uh, he will find out on Christmas. And we may get to find out next week. Uh, camel clutch there by Ryder Prendeville. And oh, forearm to the face. Champ. Taking a punishment. It's the Battle of England right now. Part two, one, no. And what is going to go on here? Oh, no, gets countered, but countered again to a back suplex. I don't know who really came out worse for wear there. It looks like Brooke. No, never mind. Nobody. Uh, oh, nice world's strongest slam there. And here's a pin. One. No, kick out by the champ. And no. Never mind. And here we go. It is no countered into a into a tackle there. <coughs> the short arm clothesline goes up to the top. Comes off with a diving elbow, but no, gets none of it. And there's a low blow. I don't think the referee was looking at that one. And another diving elbow misses. If he keeps missing those by the end of this match, his elbow will be shattered, I'm sure. And 
reverse power bomb face crusher type deal. Ooh, throws him out. Okay. Oh right, I forgot I turned out I turned off count outs. <coughs> okay, he's back in the ring now. Well, KBW kick ass. James Shea will also be refereeing that uh, for that. Um, as Aaron James is also uh, uh, also spending time with family. All right, and. There is a spiral bomb by the champ. But the champ does not make the cover. What the hell? Oh, football tackle. I think he calls that the ride of your life. And what's he going to do here? Tag to Santa. <coughs> Starting off with a strike exchange here rather than a gift exchange. Yes, I got metaphors. Oh, you saying, uh uh, uh you're going to be on the naughty list. Oh. And they exchange forearms there. Santa is down. Santa got back up. And here we are. Oh, bringing him to the... Oh, kick to the chest. And elbow to the back of the head. Santa is not taking any guff from James Rook the third. And there's a nice clothesline there by Santa Claus. What are we gonna see? Oh! Splash. One. Two. Three. Your winners. Ryder Prendeville. Okay, that was not right, Santa. Okay, Ryder Prendeville and Santa Claus. <coughs> All right, tonight. That was a hell of a match, and I did not think that Santa would be the one getting the pin. All right, let's go to the winner circle and our closing statements. There we go, Flying Body Press, aka um, a subscriber splash, the way that um, Grim puts it. And here we go. This is uh, the end of the show. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter at A13ENT. Have a great day, night, whatever it may be for you. Stay tuned tomorrow for MW or for uh, KPW Kickass. Stay tuned Saturday. For Armageddon. Stay tuned Monday for Raw is Christmas. Lots of stuff coming up. And of course, as always, forever. And like our, and like Super Mario Brothers, Ice World.
stay frosty.